Alright, day 11 of the Blizzard Buddies competitive group Ironman progress. Today we've got a few group clips, because everyone is making really good progress on their accounts. My personal goal for the day was to pick off where I left off yesterday, finish off the fort quest line, and unlock Vorkath. I want to upgrade my necromancy gear to level 60 and get 200 quest points for some much needed money. Let's get into the clips. Alright, got my first strawberry cow, so that's going to be 1 out of 3 for that archaeology mystery when it comes time for that. And that's also 53 farming coming in, so what better way to start the day than with a farming level? It's not much, but it's an honest level. I'm also at the point in the account now where the dopamine boxes have definitely dropped off a noticeable amount. But I think it's still worth doing right now while I'm still getting all my animals sorted. Alright, after that farming level, I saw I am close to a big milestone, so here I am back at the maple trees to get 1500 total level. Huge milestone for the account, now I'm going to have access to 1500 total worlds, which according to Pupstomp, who's ahead of me, are super nice for doing Gothixian caches right now. Not a lot of 1500 level GIMs out there. Alright, first cache of the day. I think I can just end this off with the subdue all button, so that looks kind of funny. There we go, 100 points. And that should get me a level here. 58 divination. Oh, hey, and I got the final div piece. So I got the full outfit now. Very nice. Every time I've been going um lately for rituals and whatnot, I keep getting the spammy chat message that I have this quest ready and this quest ready. And this guy is visiting town now, so you better go talk to him. And it's getting a little bit annoying, so I figure I better clean up these um quests. Starting with Vessel of the Harbinger. And that's also going to give me a prayer level and a decent bit more necromancy experience. Next up in the um quest line for today is the owl quest. I remember on release a lot of people were really mad at this quest for some reason, and I'm not sure why. It's a pretty nice quest. Maybe there was like a big content drought and this being a quick quest was not what people wanted or something. But from this, I am going to get a, another necromancy level, and I'm also going to get my first moonstone on the account. That is going to be really nice. I'm probably leaning towards making the runecrafting ring first. Alright, so for the fort quest line, I needed some more teaks and mahogany planks. I looked up on the wiki where there is trees, since I don't have trading sticks for the hardwood grove quite yet. They showed like a bunch on miscellany here. And I'm coming here and I can't shop any of them. I'm thinking to myself, what's the point of even listing this on the wiki if they're not real trees, quote-unquote? They're just miscellaneous specific. Bit annoying, I guess I might as well go find some trading sticks and unlock the hardwood grove. Alright, second cache of the day. Got my 100 points again. Should be, yep, 59 divination coming right in. Really close to 60 now. Alright, so I watched Accident do this a couple days ago. I was surprised at how early he was able to do it with like tier 50 necromancy gear, basically just the, the bare minimum requirements to even do the quest. So I, I ended up trying my hand at this wave fight during Ancient Awakenings as well. And I found that you can kind of just run around the arena and get the monsters that are aggroed onto you, aggroed onto your teammates. And then you can just AFK for the rest of the wave. So another thing I would do is I would start the wave and I would surge directly to the wall to minimize the amount of enemies that could see me right away. And that tended to work pretty good. I ended up finishing the wave fight using almost a half inventory of food, so really not too bad. Alright, now I can turn in Ancient Awakenings. And then there's going to be just one more quest before Vorkath is unlocked, and I finish with the fort quest line for now. For the next bit of the fort quest line, I've got to get 60 necromancy. So I came over to Abyss. This has been my favorite training spot for this bracket of levels. And here I am with 60 necromancy coming in. Since I want to upgrade my gear, I'm also going to have to get 60 smithing soon, so I'm going to go do that next. All right, here comes 60 smithing. Now I can make orichalcum bars and the ensold bars that I need to upgrade my necro gear. All right, I've got all my materials ready to upgrade everything to tier 60. Gonna be able to do both sets of tier 60. 
Oh wait, actually I need spirit runes. So let me go ahead and get those out of the bank. And here we go. I'm going to upgrade the first set of tier 60 armor. And once I make inventory space, then I can equip this and upgrade the second set. Oh, wait, I don't want to do what I did earlier in my account. I got to get 60 defense so I don't lock myself out of uh, being able to wear this. Okay, so I'm going to stick with my second set of tier 50. I'm going to go train defense, and then I'll attempt the battle for in three quest, I think. Though I still can upgrade my weapons to tier 60, so let me go ahead and do that, and there we go. Tier 60 weapons should be pretty big. One more tier, and then we'll have the special attack unlocked. So I'm going to be looking forward to that once we get there. Probably I'll train my defense in the Abyss. It's just too good. You get a bunch of Ashes. Combat XP is really fast. Decent amount of green charms as well. Some pure essence drops. Yeah, Abyss is just too good at this level. So unfortunately I trolled and I didn't plug in my microphone for the... Battle of Four in Three boss fight, so I lost the group's reaction once again. So I'll just be narrating over this. I was more worried about the part with the giants than the actual boss fight with Vorkath, since the story mode boss fights are usually very easy, but these monsters and the giants prove to be fairly difficult, in large part just because there are so many of these monsters that get on you at once. You'll be attacking a giant, and you can see, if you look closely, I mean, there are times where there are 10, maybe even a dozen monsters attacking me with all different styles. You got rangers and majors and meleeers, and you can really only pick one to prey against. I found one strategy that was working for me is that once I would get them up in a big cluster, I could walk into the middle of them and use Blood Siphon to get a large chunk of my hit points back. So I think that was probably the biggest key to my success in completing this portion with the giants. After getting through the giants, the actual battle with Vorkath was fairly simple. It was slow, but there was, but it was very easy in story mode. So there we go. After dealing with Vorkath, came time to deal with Zemmerigal and making use of the ballista. You can get these 10k hits that sped it up a whole lot. And all in all, it was really not too shabby. So managed to complete that battle, and with that I completed the Battle of Farin 3, which for now is going to complete the Fort questline for me. Soon I will have to return to this questline for Requiem for a Dragon, and even Ode to a Devourer are listed in this questline, but for now I'm very happy with this progress. So after turning in the quest, I managed to get 67 Necromancy and 200 quest points, which was a big relief. I think that puts me to the, be the first player on the team to hit 200 quest points. I'm still behind in total levels. Pub Stomp is absolutely crushing us all, making us all look bad in total levels. But uh, here we go. First one to 200 quest points. Get to claim my dice and receive a much, much needed 500k. Now all the dice in the future are also going to be even more money, so even more incentive to do some quests coming up. So one interesting thing of the day, Accident ended up deciding to do the fight caves and kill his first Jad on the account. And once he got to Jad, I would say the fight was pretty interesting. Here's the clip. Could spawn someone like right here. Yep. <laughs> there he is! Oh my gosh, range. Mage. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Three, two. Range. Range. Wait, are you referring to the gauntlet meme? Yeah. <laughs> okay, mage. Range. range. Yeah. Oh my god, the minions are out. I won. People actually unironically use that plugin. I, to me, it was so bad. Mage? Okay, we can do this. Range. Oh no. They want me dead. Mage. Range. The bloat. 
Davalia souls and a nice chunky de that didn't kill that did not do any damage what the fuck. Wait, is it healing? Or am I just not doing damage? <laughs> I'll pull you're not doing damage. You got the one yeah. healer there. It's facing him. Oh there is a healer, okay. No no you have all four next to you, but uh you don't you don't have this northwestern one there. Or southeastern. <laughs> southeastern? My compass was upside down, yeah. I think you should just get rid of them. Wait, what? I don't even see what you're talking about. <laughs> well, now it's probably fine. Now you lured them to Narnia. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I'm like, I, I knew I wasn't doing much. I don't that. You just chance? No, I got it the last second. Bro, this healer is being an issue. What the f is this? <laughs> oh my gosh! You wouldn't realize this guy is bit off Creeper. By watching Dude. this. Dude. Alright. This that... is some expert PVM now skills. <laughs> it's looking good for the, the four man AOD. Dude. <laughs> It's gonna be a trip. Dude, I don't even know how we're gonna get the four man AOD. Like, uh, Like, do we just all go in and like tier 90 necro and hope that's enough? It'll be do enough. Do we go yeah. with, oh, like, are we gonna one get overloads? One last finger. <laughs> Rats. Dude, that's a master. That's a grandmaster PB. All right, let's check out these amazing juicy bonuses. Oh, I thought it was hybrid for some reason now. All right, leave it in the comments how you think Accident performed against his first Jad on the account. Definitely was pretty interesting. And keep in mind, he's Vitalis off Golden Reaper, so he's killed thousands of Jads before. Just kidding, as funny as it was, that was a really good bit of progress for his account, and I think he's looking at taking on Fight Kiln and even Zuck pretty soon, once he makes a few more upgrades, of course. Me personally, I'm thinking about waiting till 90 Necromancy to do my first Fight Cave, since it's just part of the Killy's task progression. Third cache I've done today, but a reset just happened, so it is my first of the new day, so to speak, and that actually puts me at 60 Divination, so a nice milestone level, 20 levels away from the invention requirement. I'd also like to get 70 divination before this upcoming double experience. Of course, Iron Man cannot benefit from double experience, but the Hall of Memories activity is always very active on double XP. So Iron Man can take advantage of that by essentially leeching off the core parties that are hosted during the week. All right, that's gonna be it for today's video. We are still ending the day ranked one, which is nice. I'm hopeful that we can maintain our lead and we can lock in this Journey Tier 6 achievement soon. The biggest hurdle really is the total level requirement, so that's what we're all focused on. I am making a daily video documenting our progress, so if you want to keep up with the Blizzard Buddies and our Rank 1 competitive group Iron Man journey, please be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow.